this next set, which is sure to be popping, we've got Slade the Yoshi versus Delta Force the Link. Yeah, Delta Force is a pretty staple, one of, if not the best Link in Tri-State, period. And he's he's gone after you. He's had to go through a, a Yoshi bracket, uh, beating uh, the man himself, RJ, in winner's round four and facing off Slade here in winner's quarter. Yeah, and I mean, we've got two classic characters that have been in Smash since its inception. We've got Yoshi with the double jump armor. We've got Link with his boomerang. It's just the classic things that we've seen with a few twists and tweaks here and there. And suddenly both of these characters are fairly meta and fairly viable. So it's going to be very interesting to see how uh, Yoshi gets past the sword of Link. That's always been the bane of his existence. Yeah, you could definitely argue that these characters are the best that they've ever been in the franchise, period. And even, but even with that, like the weaknesses of a character pretty much stay because the, the designs haven't changed too much since all the way back in 99. Link is very, very reliant on, very reliant on a keep away gameplay, but with some uh, powerful options up close. Meanwhile, Yoshi, entirely an airborne fighter. But if he can't get past the wall that Link puts up, it's oh. it's not going to be pretty. Man, these bomb setups, I mean, that was dangerous. Yoshi just sticks his nose right into that bomb, sniffing it or something. I don't know what he's doing, but he's going to get got, hit by that setup. He's got that big old schnoz. He's got to know. <laughs> like, what does this smell like? <laughs> he's got to know. He's got to know. Curiosity killed the cat, but satisfaction brings it back. <laughs> 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 Either way, I mean, Delta Force has been kind of commanding so far in this stock. No, nothing Yoshi can't uh, get back with a few conversions, but it's been very, very difficult for Slade here to get these consistent conversions. Yeah, he hasn't really gotten anything started. Meanwhile, oh man, Delta Force just looks so ready with um, like Yoshi. Not even just like standard counterplay, like how do I anti-air like a character that spends a lot of time in the air, but it's... Like, like we see with that up smash, but he's also very like attuned to Yoshi counterplay, knowing that w when Yoshi's in his double jump animation, he can't grab ledge. So by putting his big forward air right above ledge, that's gonna hit Yoshi, and I don't care how heavy you are, Link's forward air doesn't. That that thing kills. Oh gosh, yeah, that that does not mess Reverse? around. Oh my gosh, the reversed edge guard that's, attempt. Okay, that double jump still intact. That's the Delta Force. He's always looking for these reverse up Bs to, to clip you with and either go for reverse edge guard or just suck you right out from the stage itself. Like it's, it's became his, it be, it's a Link thing, but it's also very, very much a Delta Force thing. And that's very much a Yoshi thing, especially in this game, because you could do a pseudo double jump cancel with the armor of the double jump into the down B. Yoshi's loved to, to, to do that to break out of combos and that working out for Slade. However, that's one trick and Delta Force has been hitting you with tricks this entire match. Yeah, Link quite known for his bag of tricks and with infinitely spawning bombs, like it's Getting off ledge and putting yourself in a putting yourself in the right position against Link is often an evolving case because there's many right positions to be in and many wrong positions, and all of them, whether it's a right or wrong position, changes with what item is out and where. <laughs> Yeah, seriously, and I mean, this boomerang has been paying off in spades, you see these fencing forward airs, the aggressive nares, I mean, Link is able to apply pressure as well to this Yoshi, and 170, 180, it's only a matter of time at this point. Uh, Slade's gonna have to start thinking about the next game. Yeah, it is. I, I really wanted to to bet on an up tilt being what takes the stock i was so yeah. close to being like oh yeah like this is about the time where you start looking for up tilt and yeah. it's like just a really calm and low commitment anti-air that will kill at 180 because there's very few things that don't but like, that's that just was textbook almost like it was textbook like anti yoshi anti-air make him whiff and punish him hard like it's 
it was everything it was everything that he wanted it to be and with gameplay like that delta force is one game away from punching his ticket into top 16 winner's side yeah seriously and starting off this game too um if you're slayed you've got to be aware that delta knows how to pressure your shield he'll do a dash attack uh, on your shield if you're facing behind him at kill percent because he knows that you're only going to be going for maybe back air or nair to punish you. You can't turn around to up smash on a dash attack like that. So if you're slave, you have to be way more careful about when and how you're shielding and how Delta Force can apply pressure there. And definitely look for some edge guards right about there, but Delta Force making it out pretty, pretty, pretty scotch free except with a percent depth. Powering right through that in there. Could it would have it's, it's a good idea to put a hitbox there. Yoshi gonna jump through you though up until around 100. Uh, his armor becomes a lot less a lot less resilient the more damage he uh, he has. And Link's got plenty of strong moves to take advantage of that. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, Link is. We haven't even seen Delta Force go for some hard callouts other than maybe an up smash because Yoshi's jumping, which is like a pretty safe callout against Yoshi. He's just been doing the bread and butters. He's been doing these landing nares like Foxwood almost. Landing there in the dash attack, these F tilts. It's just been so difficult for Slade to get meaningful hits on Delta. Uh, we'll see. Oh, I really love that. Like, getting the double jump, but stopping his rise with the down B right at ledge and still snapping. Like, that's just... It's counterplay to one of Yoshi's arguably biggest weakness. Like, his... And what continues to be his... Almost, almost. Yeah, and, and like, Yoshi's often innovating to find ways to uh, play around their character's weaknesses, as you're mentioning. I mean, this character has no shortage of options in many scenarios. A lot of the more optimistic Yoshi's even thinking that he goes even with swords like Lucina, so... Really, uh, really shows how uh, willing the Yoshi players are to lab out stuff like this. However, no amount of labbing is going to save you from that rising link in there. I mean, that is just a prevalent move from that. Oh. You know, if if there's any way to counterplay it, it's shift your hurt box away and punish the landing. Like Link's Nair is a huge hitbox, but it's not unbeatable. It's just some characters can't. For some, for some characters, it's unbeatable, I guess, but not for Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely uh, Slade shutting me up right there, saying, hey, I can deal with this, don't worry about it. But Delta Force saying, no, 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 oh, the first time he goes for a call out there with that one hit F smash into the, maybe he won't do something out of shield, instant second F smash, and now he is running a train on Slade. 50% like it was nothing. Blink is outputting damage all over the place. And it's, it's so interesting to see, like, if, if you really compare, like, a lot of the more traditional, like, zoning-based or, or trap-based characters, like Link, like Pac-Man or Rob, as we've been seeing throughout the tournament, uh, the, all of these characters have really good up-close buttons, as well as their really good item play and far-away buttons as well. Yeah. It's like... It, it, it's, it's like, man, who who on this who on the Smash team really just wanted Zonies to be good this time? Like, <laughs> there's got to be someone, you know. And, and at the very least, many of these zoners are unique in how they zone. Like, there's no character. Well, there's three characters, not quite like Link. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Either way. I mean, Delta had a lost a stock to Slate on the platform with the up smash, but it, we're looking like more of the same here, just with a stock difference. I mean, Delta just making it so hard for Slate to get those meaningful hits. Slate just trying to fight his way through this arsenal that Link is putting out, but 150%, he's going to have to make something happen soon. Yeah, not impossible. Definitely not, like, but with the... With the level of keep away that Delta Force is but putting, but that's all he needed. Oh, wow, just, I mean, that was the one time Delta Force was off stage, first of all. Like, 
an excellent like you know what i'm throwing this out like excellent awareness and decision making there from slade and not a lot of people know yoshi's forward air pit box starts similar to where bowser starts literally right above him and that's it it's unlike bowser's it starts and it's early hitboxes to this but well Unlike Bowser's entirely, it's a spike and it starts being a spike. It's that's, yeah. ooh spike. man, yeah. It, it has the arc of Bowser's there, and it starts at the top. That's what we saw trade there with that. Uh, I think it was a Link Nair that it traded with, and it looked Boy, really awkward. Boy. But that's because Yoshi's hitbox starts at the top there, and then he kind of crumpled away at that Nair. So delta suddenly sweating a little bit ah, that was very interesting now suddenly we're going back to ps2 with a different feel yeah it's it's a little bit more of a how do i put it it's like a there's a little bit more desperation in link in uh, delta forces look it's, even because when you lose a match like that like where you're just up by a hundred percent you have this huge lead like, and you still die at whatever he was at, like 50. Yeah. Like, you, you're suddenly so much more aware of every time Slade gets in. Every time he does, it's like, man, I could be at kill percent and I don't even know it. Meanwhile, he's been living for so long and I've been playing so patient. Like, it's, it's hard. It really can get in your head. And being, being able to die now, that's, yeah. that's stressful. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, he hit his egg, uh, his second egg, and I'm pretty sure that took out Delta Force's double jump. Like, it, being scared of a scenario like that, that's not what you want against Yoshi, seriously. <gasps> Yo, what? It went... Okay, reverse hit of up smash into the random down B. I mean, I, I would have gotten hit by that, seriously. Delta Force, I mean, evened up just about despite the very strong neutral at the start, and now... Oh my gosh, calling up the jumps! That's what Delta Force was doing to Slade at the beginning of this set, and now the tides have turned. Yeah, jump call outside of shield is... Like, if there's any read to go for at kill percent, if you think it can get away with it, as Yoshi can thanks to his weight and just the general size of PS2, jump call outs, running with the up smash on that shield for either character will definitely net you a kill eventually. Speaking of... Both characters are the multi-hit back airs that can confirm into powerful tools. And Link's F tilt. Ooh, man, it's quite the quite the meaty hit. Yeah, seriously, that that move packs an enormous punch, functioning like most characters' F smashes. Like seriously. Man, you oh, got two wow. F smashes. <laughs> it costs. It comes at the cost of some speed, but. Uh, <laughs> Gee, Billy. Got, you know. <laughs> All right, but how it's now it's slowly turning back into the into the game state that has per, permeated through games one and two. Delta Force being much more in control, but as long as Slade has this like innate momentum going for him, where he he knows that he's capable, not only that Yoshi's capable, but he's capable of taking stocks whenever he wants. Like then it's then this game can be on, is only going to be decided when. Like, when the when the final stop falls, it's the cool. read. That is so important there, and I mean, reading the roll out is kind of insane there because maybe he's diing away, but you expect Link to be like, oh, I got a di in for the F smash here if he misses the tech, and and to buffer a roll in, but. I mean, Slade just on top of things. Suddenly, 123%. Sure, it's kill percent. No he jump. Doesn't have a jump here, but grabs the ledge safely. I mean, if you're Delta Force, you gotta be like, oh my gosh, I have to take this stock. Uh, yeah, and he's nowhere near Link's uh, kill throw percent. Uh, that up throw is not gonna kill, especially without rage, until maybe like 20 more percent. Oh, spot it. touching anyway. Oh, wait. Slade is making these perfect micro plays. However, 33% not that big of a deal. That strong F tilt coming out again to save Delta Force. Can he just continue the momentum that he had since the beginning of the set? Or can Slade just pull it away? It's gonna be tough. Because we got he got the tech roll in to reset neutral. He armors right through the bomb. 
<laughs> the double jump cancels. It's nothing like melee, but he still got it. He still got it. Getting tossed with the bomb to stun. These bomb stuns, using it, using the remote bomb as an item first and foremost, have been such. It's been so good for Delta Force. He's gotten so much off of it. I made that grab release to the jab. Super fake, but it worked. <laughs> hey, you, you catch your opponent. Sometimes, a lot of times in this game, you catch your opponent hitting buttons. There's instances where you catch your opponent hitting nothing. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, Delta Force. Oh my gosh, that strong boomerang could have confirmed into that forward air. Just a little bit too much percent there on Slade. It's looking dire again. This is nothing that Slade can't turn around, but he has to permeate the wall. He has to get Delta Force into maybe an offstage scenario. Setting yeah, up that's... these bombs, the boomerang. He's nowhere near the bomb. He's going to jump over to try and get to it. I'm and just like game one, you see that pressure on the shield convert into a jump read up tilt, and Delta Force is going to 